Goldcrest Valley greetings to episode number 17 with me, Mr. Silly P. I've bought the uh, fent over with the baler on so I can bale fields 21. Um, I've decided to do that because I can get straw off of uh, the other field up at the farm. I just thought I'd stop over and check out the T7. I'll tell you what, it is doing an absolutely bang up job of ploughing this. Really, really good. So, uh, yeah, getting this size plough was perfect. I don't, the size fields I've got at the moment, I don't need a bigger plough than this. It would have been mad getting a larger one. The way the kind of AI works now for ploughing the fields, it works perfectly. On FS15, and diagonal fields, fields with a funny shape. The hired workers wouldn't work unless it was perfectly, um, perfectly square or rectangular or, you know, it became a real pain. This is broken brilliantly. It didn't even dawn on me, the fact it had a diagonal on this one, but it's done it without any problem at all. So, yeah, all good. That said, back in the fence. And I'm going to bail this. Um, oh, good grief. <laughs> so busy talking, didn't even notice the sign. It's going to cost me a fortune in signs. What's that, the second one I've done now? Right, let's get the uh, bailer on. Drop the pickup. Let's bail this field, shall we? It's quite a big old lump there as well. So it's going to take a little while to get that one up, wasn't it? Let's see how many bales we get out of this, shall we? The yield's pretty good. It's rolling. It's off. A bid for escape. God. At least they'll be down one end of the field. <laughs> That'll make life easier for collecting. That was not my intention. It should stop in a minute. There we go. Now these bales, when they're done and they're collected, they're going to go to the cow farm. They're going to sit with the hay bales. And then I'm probably going to do silage bales as well as the silage that's going to be in the clamp. So I'm preparing feed to make uh, mixed ration, total mixed ration. So I think while I'm doing these fields and while I've got stuff on hand, Rather than waste it, I might as well get it ready. What am I going to end up with? About 11 or 12? Ooh. Oh, not quite enough. Drop that off. Okay, so what we're looking at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not bad. A load and a little bit uh, with the auto stacker. Got a little bit in the baler still, but then when filled. Do every time. When field 12 is done, just north of the farm, that's wheat, so I'll grab straw swaths off that, which I can bale some and use some for the pigs. Uh, so that's all good, I can leave that in here. Uh, get this back over to the farm. Uh, actually, before I do that... Let me just pull this across the road. I really must get that sign repaired. Jump out of that. Let's get this started up. Turn the plow. And we'll finish this field off. Like I said, I don't like doing uh, don't like doing ploughing. If you've seen any of my videos before, I'm not very good at it. 
but it's only this chip. And I know going across the field doesn't follow the furrows, but it's the only way of getting these little bits. So doing a headland across the top, it's not the end of the world. There should be a little bit on the other side. Lift it up. I've said it before, I'll say it again, this T7 sounds awesome. Whoa, I didn't see that bump there. Crikey. Probably just buckled the plough. Let's drop that down. Excellent. Right. Well, there we go. That's the first of my own fields ploughed. For my own use. There you go. I'm impressed with that. Ah, oh, fold plough, there we go. We just point the wrong way to make it the right middle of that. There we go. Now, as I recall, when you transport these, you have to be careful because they bounce up and down. But I'm going to take it over here because once I've cleared the bells off of this field, this field's going to need ploughing as well. So, this will wait here ready to do this field once I'm done. Turn the engine off. Actually, and jump out. Do I leave the engine on that one? I thought I turned it off. Stop engine. Whoops. Now I'm moving machinery around and just checking the map for crops that are growing, any more potential um, contracting jobs that might be on offer. I also was aware that I didn't have uh, potatoes or sugar beet to feed the pigs. So I was looking for a field that has got potatoes in that I could maybe buy. It's gonna take a big chunk out of my money, but it's probably not a bad investment actually. So looking at it, I've scrolled it down, field number nine that's flashing, and the potatoes icon that I've scrolled next to it look the same colour. I'm sure that's potatoes. It's too dark to be barley. So this field here, field number nine. Let's have a look. 88,000. It's a big chunk of money, but it's got potatoes in it, so I'll get the whole crop. That is growing. Um, oh, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to have to do some more contracting jobs to get that money back up again if I'm going to think about getting the crone. But I now own field number nine. Wow. Potatoes in it. Once they're ready to harvest, I'm going to have to hire a potato harvester. There's no way I'm going to be able to buy one yet. Um, get some potatoes out of the ground and at least I've got some feed for the, um, the pigs. That's weird. Why has that been left there? How strange. Anyway, um, yeah, so now I own this field. Building up quite a collection of them now. In all honesty, what do I own now? 17, 21, 19, 15, 14, 12, and now number 9. Quite a portfolio of fields. Um, excellent, right, okay. Gives me a few options. Right, we're here at field 21. I'm going to pick up the bales off the ground and get them over to the cow farm. And then I can get this field ploughed. And this is what happens on all of the maps. All the ones I did on FS15 and now on 17. You start off quite slow and then you kind of, it starts to pick up a little bit of pace. You do reach a tipping point where you've got a lot of equipment, a lot of machinery, big stuff. And But this is now, I've got a few fields. These ones will now be ploughed, cultivated, then seeded. I'm going to start to get a bit of a turnaround on fields. Um, because you can bet your life, once I've got these seeded and ready to go, hopefully the ones at the farm will also be ready to go. I've just bought a field nine. That will probably be ready to go. And then I'll be inundated with jobs and not enough time to do it all. Um, but that's a good thing. Keep, keep the farm busy, get some workers on some of these things. Going to get this over to the cow farm and drop this off. Get the beacons on. Not far from here. 
I need to do um, an episode, well not necessarily a whole episode, uh, get some silage bales done and also get some more silage I think into uh, into the silage clamp at the cow farm. Um, I do also want to, if I ever get to the point again where I've got enough money to buy that chrome big X, is to do a whole load of silage up to the biogas plant. Um, saw a great uh, tutorial from Moose 2006 um, on silage, generally. We're using the conveyor belts up at the uh, biogas plant and it was... <laughs> It's what I said on FS15, if you watch any of my videos, I, what I desperately wanted was a conveyor belt. The amount of time I spent at the silage plant, it was making great money, but having to collect it out the silage clamp, load it into the hoppers, collect it, and just going backwards and forwards, and backwards and forwards, and backwards and forwards. Using the conveyor belts, you don't have to do it anymore no longer a headache yes you don't get as much money for the silage but you don't have to spend any time actually there doing it you can set it off and away it goes so absolutely brilliant right let's get this in here the uh silage bales will go next to it so i'll have a few racked up in here ready for when i get the cows so i'm kind of preparing for when they come in right this one got a bit of a wobble on when I tried to unload it the other day so let's be careful back up just a little bit so press triangle like kicks them off the back slowly there we go right first lot off I think there's only two more left on the field didn't honestly eight two, yeah I think there's only two more Okay, get it back over to the field and I can also then get it ploughed. So yeah, a lot going on at the moment, but it's all good. Okay, we've got the last two off. So it'll be serious thinking time what I'm actually going to put into these fields. Hmm. Okay, let's get this field ploughed. Right, so while he's getting on with that, I will get back in here. Get these last two bales over to the cow farm. For the time being, I'm going to stack these just to one side because I'm hoping to get some full stacks in that shelter. So for the time being, I'm just going to put them here to one side. And I can move them with the telehandler or something later on. Unload. 
And it's forward. Okay. Right, that's the bales off that field. 21 is now being ploughed. And this can go back over to the farm. Excellent. Doing well, I'm pleased. On field 21, just finishing off the ploughing because the worker's done his bit. So I'm just going to lower the plough. And just go forward, should be right. Hopefully. Yep, we're good. Raise the plow. Oh, crikey. Down to the other end. Why is it not that side down as well? Right, let's just get to this. There we go, about there I think it was. Drop that down. Should be right. Okay, that's field 21. Done. Ah, oh, missed a tiny little bit. There we go, sorted. Turn the plow over, and then that from that way, I can then put it into its folded position. Fold plow, there we go. Good for transport, right. I'm going to get this. Beacons on. Over to the farm, because it's going to be needed there, because all of the crops at the farm are ready to harvest. I think apart from field 9, I don't think field 9 is ready yet. But I think the rest is. Uh, if you can see that plough leaping around behind. I take it off here. Every time you go over a bump. It leaps. Would you believe it? I'm going over another bump now. That's not too bad. Obviously sorted out on FS15 that used to bounce up in the air. Okay, not bad. Right. The fields look fantastic. I'm ready to harvest. Just gonna stick the plough over here for the time being because it will be needed for doing the field, so. Wouldn't it? Oh, how weird. It won't let me drop it unless it's unfolded. Okay. Let's unfold it. Now it will let me detach it. How weird. Okay. Beacons off. That's that back. Back in the harvester. I think it's time to harvest some of our fields. I we'll say our fields, my fields. Done everyone else's. Done a couple of mine now. The actual home farm ones. The ones we started with. Oh, can't see. Just again. I bottled it last time. I think I've screwed up this time. Maybe not. Yep, 
Yep. <laughs> Off by a little bit. Okay. I'll get this header out. Onto the grass. That'll do. Spin this round and hook up. Now if I open up this uh, unfold, tips it back, that might make it a little bit easier for hooking up. There we go. Now I'll drive that off. Oh, that was easy enough. Ah, uh, maybe not. Didn't really give myself enough room here, did I? Right, do, right, do. There we go, right. Soybeans. First time I've done soybeans. I've no idea what the yield's going to be like. So it's going to be interesting to see. Turn on combine. Don't think you get straw swath off this. Oh, damn. Enable straw swath? Hmm, I didn't, wouldn't think you would. Maybe not. It might disable it anyway. We shall see. No, you don't get one. That's fair enough. So, soybeans. Wow. I've got three fields I've got soybeans in. So, uh... So the yield's not great, about what, 1,000 per strip it's going to work out at, just under, yeah, just under 1,000 per strip. Turn this around. I'll wait for the harvester to turn around and then swing this alongside. The soybean I take out of this into the small trailer I will take up to feed the pigs. Um, and then the rest of the soybean that I collect will either get stored for future feed for the pigs or I will take it and sell it. So I've got the rest of this field, that field there and 19. So, But this will be the last strip on the first of my fields, the home fields of soybeans. Objects was actually in the and that is the fill complete. So this will now go up to feed the pigs. Okay. So, I'm going to take this up to the pigs. The harvester is now going on field 14. This will be the next step in making sure the pigs have everything they need. Cover up the trailer. Number nine over to the right, the long strip, the light green one there. 
that's mine, that's potatoes, we bought that in previous episode, or this one, I can't remember now, I'm recording all different bits at different times, anyway, when that's harvested, I'll have potatoes, so we will be nearly there, and giving the pigs everything they need, open the cover, get right over, this time try and get as close as I can, Okay, I have got tip side on left. Unload. Ah, oh, wrong side. Tip side left. Oops, I don't tip side right. <laughs> okay, that was a bit of an error. In theory, I've just poured that all over the floor. Never mind. Turn these off, beacons off, just jump out, oh, into the pig, fit, pig pen, okay, well they're enjoying it anyway, let's go up to our menu, and there we have it, greens all the way down that centre section, apart from potatoes or sugar beet, and potatoes should be following pretty soon, I'm happy with that. Excellent. Right, we finish another episode up here at the pigs. Um, I hope you liked the episode. We finally got onto our own, uh, or my own, farm. Um, actually, that's probably the wrong map to go onto, isn't it? If I go onto this one here. So, as we can see over here, 17 and 21 are both mine. They are now both ploughed and ready to be seeded. My fields here at home farm are all ready to be harvested. 15 has just been done with soybean, and we're up here at the pigs feeding them the soybeans. Harvest is going on this one here, which I need to zoom in on. 14, that was it. 14, the harvest is going on 14, and the soybeans will probably be stored on that one, or maybe sold not sure soybeans on 19 i will probably store and then we've got wheat on 12 to work on number nine won't be far off done that'll be potatoes and they'll come over for the pigs as well as i said earlier on busy times anyway i hope you liked the episode if you did give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share the video share it with whoever you want to share it with um, i'm on facebook screenshots appear regularly uh, as do the links to the YouTube clips, whatever you choose to do. As is always the case on my videos, thanks for watching.